This video reviews two important examples in trigonometry, Pythagoras and what is classed as Sokartoa by lots of people. Now the first one we're asked to find the lens CB. Now Pythagoras links three sides in a right angle triangle and Pythagoras says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared where C is always the hypotenuse. So if I call that X the length CB, then x squared plus 6 squared equals 13 squared. So let's work out 6 squared and 13 squared. So x squared will just equal 169, take away 36, which is 133. So to find x of the length CB, I just have to work out the square root of 133 on my calculator. So the square root of 133 is 11.5325. Now we want this to three significant figures. So 1, 2, 3, that's the third significant figure. After it's a 3, that's less than 5, so we don't round up, it's 11.5. So x is 11.5 to three significant figures. In the second question, we're asked to find angle RPQ. So RPQ, that's this angle here. So I'll call this X. Now, if we have a right angle, two sides and want an angle, then this is Sokartoa. Now, in this triangle, this side is the hypotenuse, but this side is the adjacent. That's the opposite, but that's irrelevant to the question. So this is the adjacent. Now then, if we consider so Cartoa, this tells us whether to use sine, cos and tan. Now we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so we have to use car because it's got the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So this tells me that cos of the angle is equal to adjacent, which is 17, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 25. So to work out the angle, I must use the inverse cos button of that particular fraction. So if I press shift, cos and write 17 over or divide by 25 into my calculator and press enter then this gives you gives the angle now I want this to 1 dp now after the 1 is a 5 so I therefore round the 1 up so it's 47.2 so x is 47.2 degrees to one decimal place